Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see few PHP tutorials and we'll be seeing how data is read from the form and how it is stored in the database. So before getting started, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and do follow my Instagram page. Let's not waste our time and let's get started. Here I have a folder called PHP tutorial. Here I'll be creating index.php. Start my SQL and Apache. So once this is done, I'll go to my browser and type local host slash php to real slash index dot php. So here you can see the file has been created. Nothing is written inside the file. So we'll just write here in h2 tag. We'll just give welcome to Sneha codes. This will be our text. So let's go back and refresh. Welcome to Sneha code. We'll create a register form. We'll see how that data is been read from that form. First, uh, you require a registration form. Before that, let me design this thing. So for design purpose, you can go to get bootstrap. The latest version is 5.3. Click on doc and here you'll have search option or else uh, just scroll down. Here you have a basic structure of HTML and here you have a basic structure of HTML uh, with a CSS uh, link and JavaScript link. So I think you can use this and uh, yes. So let me copy this and go to my code and paste here so once this is done you will be able to see hello world so you can ask what is the difference between adding the link so i'll just give you an example here you have hello world in h1 tag so i give class and tell button primary this h1 will be changed into button so i'll just show you the design of it refresh and you, here you go you get hello world so this is why we use css link let's give css here and uh, this is javascript so js here we have to create a registration form so form again go to get bootstrap search for form here so here you have form let's copy this code go back and paste so this is our form let's go back and reload so now you can see we have got the form but the alignment is not proper let's align this and give some structure to this form we'll just start type container row column md6 i'll cut this form and paste inside this align so once this is done i'll just tell justify by content center so once this is done let's go back and refresh we don't need this checkout so here you have a checkout thing just remove it and here you have that message just remove it we'll give your margin top as 5 and we'll go back and refresh here you can see you have email password and one submit button so let's go back and we don't require all these just remove these give an attribute name email and here name password here we have to give name so let's give this as register button so once this is clicked it has to go to some form and perform action so form will have two attributes one is method and action so action is going to be in the same form so we are not going to create any other form the method will tell it as post this post is very important to send data from form so now let's copy this register button here itself we'll just open close php open close php and inside this just give if a set of dollar post of this button if this button is clicked we should echo and show the data dollar email is equal to dollar 
post of email and we have for password just copy paste this change this to password and here we have to echo and show the password and username once this is done we'll just go back and reload what is happening with our form let's go back and reload and let me enter sneha codes at gmail.com when i submit this form these data should be seen so when i click on submit i'm getting the data that has been entered by me with sneha codes one two three four five i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section do follow my Instagram page, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.